All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a standard wood axe as safely and effectively as possible to get the job done as quickly as possible. So hey, before we get into it, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and then let's get into it. Let's find out how to use one of these bad boys. All right, guys, so first let's talk about how to actually swing an axe so that it's done effectively so you're not jacking up your back or your shoulders. Now, I have another video on how to swing a sledgehammer correctly, and the idea of swinging a sledgehammer and an axe are fairly similar if you're chopping something on the ground. So let's talk about that real quick. So what you're going to do is if you're doing a standard axe swing on a downward target, you're going to first want to make sure that your feet are at least shoulders width apart. This is very, very important because what often happens is somebody swings down to something, it nicks off, and it goes between their legs. Well, if your legs are together, guess what? You're literally going to chop your leg off. So don't do that. Keep your legs apart. Very important. Once your legs are shoulder width apart, you're going to face the thing you want to chop. So in this video, I'm going to be chopping a stack of tires. Um, which obviously a little bit below the video, but they're there, trust me. Um, I'm going to face it, I'm going to have my legs shoulder width apart, and I'm going to have them in line. Now, sledgehammer is slightly different, but axe, we're going to keep our legs in line. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put your less dominant hand at the base of the axe handle. Your more dominant hand is going to go up near the base, near the axe head. So then you're going to stand in your ready position. Your ready position is like this, it's your fighter position, it's you're ready to swing the axe, you're ready to get the job done. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your shoulder so your less dominant hand shoulder is going to swing around and like as in martial arts, boxing, everything else, the energy is going to be generated from your core up through your shoulders then out through the axe head. So you're going to rotate around, you're going to generate the body, you're going to generate the motion into the head of the axe, you're going to come around. Now this is very important, your hand is going to slide down the axe handle, you're going to keep your eye on the target the whole time and you're going to swing down at the target. Now, that is how you're going to do it slow motion. So let's see what this looks like a little bit faster speed. So you're going to see your target. You're going to keep your eye on the target. You're going to simply swing like that. That's how you hit the target. That's how you generate enough force to actually get the job done. So let's look at that one more time. You're going to swing up and then down. You'll notice my shoulders are swinging around. I'm not using my shoulders like this. I'm also not using my back like this. I'm generating the force through my shoulders and upper back, and then it's coming down through the axe head. So that is the basic axe swing to chop something that is down in front of you. So now let's actually go out there, let's find a log, and let's look at how to actually chop the log properly. Let's do it. All right, guys, so now we're out here. We got a log to chop, and we got our axe to chop. But with one thing to note, when you're chopping wood, you should always wear some kind of eye protection um, because when you're chopping it, splinters often shoot up into your face and those can put your eye out, so don't do that. All right, so now that we got the log, we're gonna chop like I showed you already how to swing it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna aim at the target, you're gonna look at where you wanna hit, then you're simply going to execute. So what that's gonna look like is I'm like, okay, I wanna chop right there, then I simply swing it around and come down. Now, one thing to note, when you're chopping, you don't always chop in the exact same spot, because what that'll do is just get your ax head stuck. What you do is you chop first straight down, then you chop at a slight angle to the right, then you chop at a slight angle to the left. Now, I'm going to zoom in so that I can show you exactly what that looks like in the log when you're chopping. All right, guys, so this first chop is just going to be straight down. Like you can see, I've already chopped there once. It's going to be straight down like that. So that's good. But now, if I want to make this more effective, I'm going to chop slightly to the right, which is going to look like this. That's going to get you that wedge cut. Then I'm going to chop slightly to the left, which is going to knock that wedge out of there. You can see... In these three chops, I've already taken a good chunk of the wood out. Now, if I continue to chop straight down, it's not nearly as effective. You can see I'm not really getting anywhere. So that's what it looks like when you're just chopping straight down. But now let's alter the different types of chops. So first straight down, then to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Now, you can see now that I've begun altering the chops, I'm actually making some headway in the wood. So that's very important to note when you're chopping wood is that you need to alter how you hit the wood and where you hit the wood because that'll get you the most effective piece, chunk, taken out of your log. All right, guys, well, you may be saying to yourself, well, this is all fine and great if I want to chop a log on the ground, but what happens if I'm actually trying to chop a tree down that's standing up in the air? Well, same basic idea as a count. However, let's go find something that's standing up. Let's chop it down, see how we do it. 
Let's get to it. All right, guys, so cutting something down that's standing up is basically the same motion as you have cutting something on the ground. What it's gonna do is it's gonna use your obliques just a little bit more, but instead of facing it straight on, you're gonna stand with your, um, your rear leg slightly in front, and you're simply gonna swing it as if you're swinging a baseball bat. Then you're gonna alter your left center and right swings the same as if the log were on the ground. So what does that look like? Well, I'm gonna take my ax, get in my fighter position, my fighter stance, I'm gonna swing it, and it's gonna impact the tree. So you saw that was a straight on hit. Um, I hit the dead center, I didn't hit at an angle like I will on the next couple hits, but that's gonna be your first chop. You're gonna pull it out, then you're gonna come slightly from the up to the down. So you're gonna take full effect of that first hit. Now, let's get you guys a closer shot so you see exactly what I'm doing here. So this first swing, like I said, comes in center. That's great, then I come down, then I go up, then I center, down, up, center. All right, guys, well, I'm going to finish chopping this tree down on my own time. I'm not going to make you guys stand here and watch me, but, hey, um, I really love making these videos for you guys. So some of you guys might say, oh, this axe is, like, super dull and I'm not chopping fast. Well, honestly, guys, it's because this axe is really dull. Um, I haven't had time to sharpen them. Been really busy, but, hey, um, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully you found this informative. Love making these videos for you guys, but, hey, if you do me a huge favor, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Now, I'm going to get back to chopping this tree. You guys get back to your lives. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Uh -huh.